Okay, guys, we do have some more information, or a lot more information, regarding Squadron 42. Nubavire has put out a short video on that, and for the people that said, why didn't you make a one minute 42 video? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into depth. I'm going to go into detail, because there's a lot of information here, and I think it's all very, very important. So, the first things first. At the moment, what is the release date for Squadron 42? We haven't got it listed at Squadron 42 for 2020 for quarter two for a beta. Now, Chris has said that this is subject to change. Chris has said that at the end of the day, this does depend on the factors. So it is a tentative date, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Um, but at the end of the day, at the moment, they are aiming for a quarter uh, second quarter 2020 for a beta. Apart from that, um, you know, he said the major thing that will hold them up when it comes to Squadron 42 are things like, for example, uh, the AI. Um, they do need about three or more coders for AI. So if you're an AI coder, it might be a good opportunity to put your job opportunity, I would put your job forms in. Um, but yeah, he has said that it is, that's the major hurdle they have at the moment. Um, although Sandy did turn around and, and she did grill, <laughs> she did grill him on this. And I like the fact that she does this. Um, but yeah, she also did admit that she does have a a package, a, a sort of a promotion material uh, plan, and that she feels like that this is actually something that's actually very feasible, um, that they are working towards the quarter two of 2020. Um, so like I say, it is subject to change. It can change depending on the AI and stuff like that. But at the moment, they're, they're both sounding pretty confident that this is a fairly accurate date. So, what else are the, some of the major things that we've known? And this will also give you an idea of some of the stuff that's also coming in, obviously, the Persistent Universe as well. Because once it goes through with the, with the Star Citizen or Squadron 42, it also gets implemented in the game world. Um, which is why, for example, you see quad, uh, quarter one of, tw of 2019, we're getting the DNA face. And then when you go through and you have a look here at quarter one at 2019, you have the DNA face. Um, but let's go through and let's have a look at it. So in quarter four in 2018, we're expecting things like player vaulting version two, player mantle version two, and core tech is the RTT common command system improvements so that'll be improvements to the comms uh video chats stuff like that uh quarter one of 2019 uh for star citizen and for squadron 42 uh we will be getting the balisk armor uh advocacy uh we will be getting the dna face customization uh we will be getting gunner which is an implementation of the naval gunner outfit uh, we will be getting the Realistic Firing version 2, so improvements in the FPS combat behavior, so the NPCs would choose appropriate weapons and tactics. Uh, we get the FPS Collision Avoidance version 2. We get the AI Spindle Plus version 2. Uh, we also get System Heat, uh, which improves the current heat system to support systematic gameplay and customization. Uh, vehicle HUD version 2. We'll also get the Vehicle Radar version 2, the new Atmospheric Flight Model, which is obviously great. Uh, the new Flight Model, which is obviously great. Uh, vehicle Scanning version 2, Player Locomotion Stairs Improvements, NPC Healing, which is obviously interesting. Player Character Balls, uh, Player Fray Look, and Player Jump Volume 2. Uh, Cortex, we have the Particle Lighting System Volume 3. The Organic Shader will get the Water Physics. Uh, we'll also get Hard Surfaces Shader Volume 2. We'll get the Procedural Asteroids Volume 2. We'll atmospheric Fight Volume 2. Of atmospheric Effects, sorry, Volume 2. Projectile Management. We'll also get the Weapons Effect Volume 2. We'll get the Ragdoll Improvements. We'll also get Weapons and Items like the Missile Launcher. We'll get the multi-tool, and that is at for season uh, quarter one, 2019. So for quarter 2019, we get the Shubin Miner, which is the costume used by the Shubin Interstellar Miners. Uh, we get the Flight Standard Pilot, 
We'll get the flight gunships. We'll get the FPS combat weapon types. We'll get the FPS grenades. We get FPS wing command, uh, wingman commands. Uh, we'll get the uh, gameplay. We'll get updates for vehicle scanning version three, fuel mechanics version two, FPS close combat. Uh, so there's like hand to hand combat and stuff like that. Uh, death animation improvements. Player swimming. Uh, we'll get player statics. Uh, sorry, status systems. Uh, we we'll get cortex, which uh, will be weapon and item customization. Uh, we will get Ship AI 3D Pathfinding Volume 2. We'll get On Demand Physicality Volume 2, which is the refactoring physics calculations into object container streaming service, which is obviously great. Uh, ship and Vehicle Greycat Industrial uh, Industry Condanus. I'm getting that wrong. I apologize. So that's balancing, implementing uh, the Cutters Mining Vessel. Uh, the Vandal Cleaver, uh, which is building, implementing, and balancing the Vandal Cleaver boarding ship. Uh, we get the Cuffer Medical Pens for weapon and items. Uh, we get the uh, MK4 Frag Grenades updated. We get the Vandal Lance, uh, which is a create an implementation of alien weapon. So for uh, Squadron 42 and, and also PU Persistence, uh, quarter 3, 2019, we get the character entry, we'll get the ship jacket heavy, we'll get the AI, which is the behavior that allows AI to take off and land within new flight model, we'll get the logic addition, uh, additional controls, we'll get cover usage volume 2, we'll get formations, uh, which is obviously the functionality to allow AI spaceships to fly as a part of formation. Uh, we get walk and talk, which is a system animation to support NPCs being able to walk along the player and other NPCs and maintain a believable conversation. We'll get Vandal Combat Behavior updated. We'll get Usables Volume 2. We'll get the Comparison AI, uh, which is the AI behavior for friendly and enemy NPCs to work together and or with you. Uh, the gameplay, we'll see the Power Systems Volume 2 updated. The nav map, uh, nav map and Radar, Volume 2. The Vehicle Scanning, Volume 4. Vehicle HUD, Volume 3. Mag Boots, which is obviously player locomotion across the surface within a 0G. Uh, we get 0G Push and Pull. Seated Item Handling and Cockpit Interaction. So Cortec, we get Physical Damage Systems, which is the Soft Body Collusion Simulation on... Grid locked, grid, grid locked objects, uh, cloth slim volume two, uh, large scale shadow improvements. Uh, we'll also get the mission logic volume two, play interaction system improvements. We'll get the Idris uh, class M uh, for the ships and the vehicles. We'll get the Drake Cutlass Red. We'll get the uh, A A Aegis Javelin. Uh, for weapon and items, we get the Ballistic Deployable Shield. So for Squadron 42 Quarter 4 2019, we will be seeing the Titan Suit, uh, reportedly anyway, uh, AI, so Flight Ace Pilots. We'll get to see the Flight Atmosphere Combat. We'll get to see the FPS Stealth Version 3. We'll get the FPS Navigation 2. Uh, we will see the Flight Mission Improvements, Volume 2. The Core AI Improvements. We'll see the Social AI, Volume 2. We'll get the FPS Combat Behavior, Volume 2. We'll get Close Combat, uh, which I thought we've already seen, but anyway, moving along. Uh, FPS Titan. We'll see the specific enemy, uh, enemy AI behaviors for more fulfilling combat experience. For gameplay, we'll get con uh, conversation system improvements. Uh, the Vance Hatches, which is a setup of doors, airlocks, and hatches to be an interactable by a player and AI. For Vehicle HUD Volume 4, we'll get body dragging in, in that, which is a character pulls another pr uh, prone character. Uh, we will see mounted guns uh, as well. Uh, object push and pull. Locomotion Volume 2 and a player slide, the ability for players to enter a slide. 
Uh, gas Cloud VFX Improvements, Shield Effects Volume 2, uh, phys uh, Physics Rendering Refractor, uh, which is the more effective physics processing and parallelization to take advantage of clients' computing power. Uh, save and Load, so setup of save system across the game. Ship and Vehicles, we will see the Vandal Void, we'll see the Vandal Driller. We will see the Misk Hull C, which is, I'm presuming, will make everybody happy. We'll get to see the Vandal Kingship. We'll get to see the Vandal Stinger. Uh, Stinger. We will get to see the Weapon Racks, so adding weapon storage facility to the ship's hull. Uh, Vandal Hunter, we'll get to see that. And we'll get to see the RSI Bangle as well. And for uh, Squadron 42 slash Persistent Universal Star Citizen, Quarter 1, 2020. Uh, the reason why I keep saying both guys is because, obviously, if it's going to be in Squadron 42, it will also be in, in Star Citizen as well. Um, but the core tech is the HDR, sorry, HDR Color Processing. Um, we'll get the General Rendering Performance Improvements. We'll get the Image Quality Cinematics Rendering Improvements. We'll get the mesh and geometric streaming improvements. We'll get the real-time refraction improvements. Um, and that's about that for that. And then for Squadron 42, quarter 2, 2020 at the moment, we will get to see the beta, reportedly. Now, if you go to the overview section, it'll also go through and break it through down all in chapters. One thing that we can learn is that there is 28 chapters in this. Um, so obviously once all five out of five are done for everything, then obviously the game is ready, done, and finished. Um, but yeah, at the moment, most of them are around, uh, you know, two out of five, three out of five, um, or heading towards three out of five, or, or done two out of five. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's quite interesting too. Um, look, at the end of the day, uh, do I think that they will keep to this roadmap? I'm kind of hoping. Uh, I think Chris has really learnt in the past that going through and giving out dates uh, and when you don't have it as a achievable is a bit of a mistake. Um, so look, yeah, I do really do think they are aiming for a quarter to 2020 release, um, which is probably why we'll be like to be seeing the 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 second uh, social event. Uh, that, that was mentioned, that Sandy are apparently saying that they're going to be having two events next year. One of them was going to be CitizenCon, and one was going to be in December, or later in that year. Um, I believe that will be the, the public release. That will be the Squadron 42 sort of release party. Um, and according to this, uh, you know, yeah, it does sort of make sense. You know, it would be about six months before the beta. Um, so, yeah, that kind of does make a little bit more sense. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'd like to... Uh, yeah, it would definitely build up hype. Um, I would like to see that maybe put back until quarter two, 2020. Um, so that they could actually go through and have this party at the same time the beta is on. Um, but yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. What's your thoughts on Squadron 42? Do you think that we will actually be getting this at this time? Do you think that it will be up and ready and having a beta by quarter to 2020? Or do you think that this is just a bit of a pipe dream and it won't happen? Um, do you think that Chris Roberts is overestimating his abilities again? Or do you think this is a very real possibility of actually getting it? He did say the only major roadblock they would have at the moment is AI programmers. They do need about three, so if you do know anyone that can do that or wants to get into AI programming that, that has done it in the past or whatever, go check out Cloud Imperium Games. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm optimistic, I suppose. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.